everyone this is asmr studio welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to edit this type of non-edited image this photography is good but uh, you have to know how to make it more like lucrative or like shiny and like uh, the professional look and as well as the skin retouch and background and the color correction everything so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so at first i have to make copy by pressing ctrl g or you can drag this photo and drop it in uh, here new layer options and after that just go to the crop tool and i'll crop it like 16 is to 9 yeah and you know the point of view that means the point of interest whatever you can tell this grid that means uh, the horizontally and the vertical grid were just overlapped here this one is another name is the rule of third that means this point here here and this four point uh, in that point uh, the audience just look at first that means these points are the point of interest or the uh, point of view whatever you can tell the most important thing of the photography is the, the eyes the in a portrait photography if you focus on eyes and everything will be like nice so but uh, you have to make it more audience oriented so you have to crop it like that so or you can just crop it like this area of this that means the point beha beside this point you can just keep all the things of your photography that means if you keep your photography like if i make it like that this one will be the proper that means at first the audience will watch the eyes of the model so this one is the cropping technique so hit the tick button yeah that's fine and after that i'll just edit this one color correction retouch on everything so at first i'll go to the filter and camera filter don't worry about that i'll make the preset of the camera filter and i'll give you that preset to you for your purpose you can just getting this one free of cost if you want to get this one please check out my video description so at first uh, here is the some lights those are distracting audience so that's why i'll just make the highlight down so after highlighting this one dehighlighting this one the model will be prominent and then the color of the skin here is the hsl option here the orange and red color so i'll increase the luminance of orange and red the saturation rate i'll increase just because of the lips color is here the red color and the yellow luminance i'll make it increase after that i'll retouch the skin later uh, before that initially i'm just doing this okay and final correction color correction that's i'll do later but i'm just doing here in this portion just the basic things so that's why increase the exposure a little bit okay and then hit the ok button so before one and after one a basic thing you have done now i'll do the skin retouching skin smoothing at first then dodge burning option and then the color correction so filter and the photo toolbox skin finer skin finer download link and the skin finer setup link everything you are getting in my video description i just made a detailed video about the skin finer so check it out so here the two panel one is smoothing skin detailing that is the one window and another window is the skin tone so skin tone is most important just because of if the shadow and highlighting is not properly just uh, happen over the image uh, your image won't be like um, the shiny or like uh, attractive so amount of smoothing i'll make it uh, around 70 percent and fine i'll make it around 24 or 23 that's fine and now the skin tone at first here is the hue that means which color or what type of color your model screen will be and here the saturation it will be like that or like that but i'll make like this 
yeah that's fine and the brightness increase the brightness or decrease the brightness i'll increase the brightness just because of the face color should be like a proper highlighted so contrast if you make like that or like that so so don't make it more contrast like that but i'll make it around 10 that's fine and the shadow i'll make the shadow like that or like that you can make it like that yeah i'll make it around minus 9 and highlight i'll make like that and in this case i'll make the contrast like this and the brightness i'll make it a little bit down and saturation i'll make a little bit up so here the difference between the before one and after one so hit the just ok button after doing that our skin retouch is done now the portion is shadow and highlighting so here the technique is the dodge and burn process or shadow or highlighting process whatever you can tell so please copy two copy of this layer one is like highlight and another one is S. S stand for the shadow H stand for the highlight so I am turning off the layer S select the H blending options blending mode to screen then right press blending options here is the underlining layer just move this one you will get the highlighted area of the face and press the alter button the slider will divide and adjust the color like that yeah that's good and hit the ok button after that mask it image apply image and hit ok and now turn on the is shadow options blending mode to multiply right press blending options and from here the underlining layer but here is the slider i'll work with that the shadow area will appear press the alter button divide the slider and adjust the color shadow with that and hit ok mask this one and go to the image and the apply image options but in this case i'll make it invert and hit ok so here the shadow and highlight so i'll select these two things make it group and mask it image apply image but in this case uncheck the invert option and hit ok so the shiny look of the face and the other stuffs so after that i'll just apply a color suppose the light is coming from the left top so i'll add extra light for the extra exposure or extra effect so take a new blank layer and go to the color palette and from here select a color like a warm type color i'll choose the color like this this one is good and go to the brush tool select the first one and brush setting will be like that the size around the 800 pixel hardness 0% and opacity 100% and flow 100% select once press ctrl T just make it bigger yeah just overlap with the face and a little bit yeah that's fine and hit the tick button now change the blending mode into screen yeah it will make more sense that the light is coming on the back side from the back side and just getting over the head of the model and it look like a like a professional so go to the just adjustment layer and gradient options from here take the gradient like that and change the style in a radial and angle will be zero degree and make it reverse and dither as well and the scale will be 350 and just you can yeah move this gradient to the face of the model and hit ok now i'll select these four things make it group make it merge now i'll do work for the color correction or color grading so filter camera filter so here is the option the camera calibration here you'll get the three prime colors red green and blue so i'll work with the red yeah i do like that 
so the saturation will be plus five six around and the hue i'll make the hue like this and the saturation here of the green like that and the blue i'll make the blue like that's the gorgeous blue color primary blue but saturation i'll make it up from here the curve tone or tone curve from the blue tone curve curve i'll just make the curve like this yeah that's fine and the green as well i'll make the green curve like that that's fine and the rgb curve i'll make it not too much a little bit yeah that's fine and from the highlight or basic panels i'll make it like blacks and clarity i'll make it up according to three percent the sharpness or detailing make the sharpness around 64 percent and luminance of noise reduction make it around 30 not 26 from the effects option i'll dehaze this one little bit uh, around three or four that's fine i'm saving these settings and i'll give you that settings to you please check out my video description i'm giving the sun and girl that's a good name and hit ok yeah you'll get the extra look and shiny look over the photo so let's see the before one and after one and after that i'll go to the filter now nick collection color fix pro 4 if you want to get the nick collection color fix pro 4 please check out my video description this one is another plugin of the photoshop you can use it for like extra effects or other stuffs there are lots of effects from here i'm using the cross processing and are some methods if you want you can choose the methods from here from here i should choose this one it will be amazing here is the strength of the effects if you make it like that or like that but i'll make it around 32 or 33 percent that's fine and the shadow you can increase or decrease it's up to you now opacity as well and hit the ok button so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output so it's saving yeah the before one and after one and now just i'll increase the sharpness of this image so what should i do select these two things make it group make it match and copy of this layer and after that the upper layer i'll go to the blending mode and i'll make it vivid light and filter other and high pass make the high pass 1.5 yeah 1.5 is good and hit ok so you'll get the extra sharpness of this one so it will make your photo more charming and amazing the before one and after one you're getting the extra look and the professional look of your photography and that's all for today so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section i hope that you like it if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you need the plugins or other tutorials please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications of my videos and until the next video, I may say I'll be signing out today. Bye-bye.